Hey everyone, thanks for watching. In this video, I am going to talk about the new version of Cisco WebEx that's coming in the very near future. This is the WebEx version 40.9. And the reason I wanna highlight this version specifically is because of some new user interface enhancements that I want you to be aware of. It's gonna be important for your end users to know about these so that they uh, know what to expect when they get the new updated version of WebEx. If you're new here, consider subscribing, give me a thumbs up, and consider sharing this video if you find it helpful. With that being said though, let's dive in and I will show you some of the new UI elements and the changes that are coming to WebEx right now. All right, so here you can see the before meeting experience. Looks pretty similar, although along the bottom, the mute button and the video toggle button have been expanded to actually have the text as to what they do. The mute button and video button also have little green indicators uh, in each of them respectively to show you the status. Looking at them more specifically, you see the little VU meter is in the microphone. So if you're talking, even before the meeting starts, you can see and know for sure that yes, my audio is being picked up. Uh, likewise, the video, the green button, is that confidence button that's also typically on your laptop. You, t you have a green button next to your web camera as well, so it unifies that experience. If you're on mute or you have your video turned off, the microphone and the video icon are both red with a slash through them so that you know, hey, video and audio uh, are off. During the meeting, Cisco has taken that same approach and they've put the functionality across the bottom Things like share and record also have a descriptive label with them. I mentioned things are grouped a little bit more logically. If you're looking at the audio options, for instance, you can see here the mute button has audio. Uh, if you choose the little arrow uh, next to it, it'll expand, show you more audio details, what microphone speakers and those types of things that you are using. Likewise, from a camera perspective, if you open that up, you can see the virtual background settings, uh, general settings, what camera's in use, and those type of things. So again, group logically, uh, your basic controls are available right on the front page. More in-depth controls are quickly available as well. Finally, additional meeting controls are available here. If you hit the, uh, the three dots, they expand, and these are the other functionalities that you're used to having. The ability to connect to a video endpoint, to lock the meeting, to invite and remind, copy a meeting link, those types of things. Don't forget the participants and the chat bubbles are on the right hand side. One feature that's been highly sought after, particularly for education and for training environments, is breakout sessions. 40.9 is going to introduce breakout sessions to WebEx. I know I went through that pretty quickly, but in the video description below, I actually have a link to a document that Cisco produced that you can get to your end users ahead of time before these updates are applied. It goes through everything that I just showed you, and it's a nice, easy to consume PDF. Uh, there's pictures of what the new UI looks like, the new controls, the new meeting experience, those types of things. So again, this is in the video description below. Personally, I would suggest getting this to your end users well ahead of time. You could send it out now. The UI elements are going to look like they look in the, the video here. Uh, if you have questions, comments, other tips or tricks, leave some of them below and I'll do my best to answer you. Reach out to your Cisco account team or Cisco uh, preferred reseller. Uh, with that being said though, I wanna thank you for watching. I'm looking forward to this update. Hopefully you are as well. Uh, either way, I'll have more videos coming. I hope to see you back sometime soon.